Okay, this has been on my mind since the uh, weekend retreat. Oh, okay. With yourself. Um, <clears throat> so, my understanding is that I am just consciousness, <coughs> and there is just witnessing. So there is witnessing <coughs> of consciousness. Okay, slow down. So, start again and go a bit more slowly. Your, my understanding is? My understanding is that I am consciousness. And there is just witnessing. What is it that's witnessing? Just, there is just witnessing. Okay. Consciousness witnessing itself. Yes, yes. So I'm aware of that. Then there is attention and so my attention, <clears throat> do you know I had it so clear? It's all right. So within that awareness is my attention and I have a choice where I put my attention. So that tells me that I have free will and a free choice. Then there is an explosion of love. <laughs> and... Do you mean on occasion or there's a consistent explosion of love <laughs> well <laughs> uh, i i experienced this okay yeah so there's an explosion of love so that explosion of love is consciousness itself mm -hmm. so is the explosion of love arising in consciousness or is that actually consciousness itself Okay, so that's one question, but how does the attention question relate to this? Because you just brought up the whole thing of attention and free will. Yeah. So okay. is it related to that or is it, it two different it, questions? It is related. <clears throat> so my wonderings, my curiosity mm. is what part of this, as in witnessing, awareness, and attention, do I need to be embodied for? Do I need to have a body for? Because if I am nobody, <laughs> then that's all happening anyway, mm -hmm. regardless of my being embodied or having a body in this world. It's all happening anyway. Okay, so what's the question related to that? <laughs> the question related to that is, is my thinking correct? Is that right? Is that true? What exactly? All that that I've just said. Can you say it again? <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone have difficulty following it or was it just me? I just felt a bit right. disjointed. So yeah. it just felt heartfelt. Okay. So maybe it's very good. Mm, so, good. but maybe go back to to the beginning and just start with what you said. Uh, my understanding is I am consciousness. So I am consciousness. So keep speaking from okay. your your understanding here and now, and don't go off into some kind of speculative conceptual. Like I am consciousness. So I am consciousness. Yeah. Witness witnessing itself. Well, consciousness is not an it. Right. Mm -hmm. So conscious, there is, consciousness is not an object. <coughs> but this is what you say. No, no, I don't. <laughs> 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 it's no way you won't find uh, that line in here. So, I am consciousness. Mm 
right? And that consciousness. Is that, and that's completely obvious, right? Mm -hmm. In this moment or any moment, right? Mm -hmm. And then you said, and, con and what did you say? I am witnessing. There's, there's witnessing. Consciousness witnesses itself. So when you say itself, what do you mean? The con I'm not sure, maybe. <laughs> well, that's fine. <coughs> but you're saying it, so I'm asking you. Because this is what I th I've always heard you say. Yeah, well, that, that's why I'm asking you, because you, right. you might have a correct understanding, because there is one sense in which that is true, but there's another sense in which that's not true. So I'm wanting to get clear what your understanding is. What and when you say that. That consciousness, I am consciousness, mm -hmm. and consciousness witnesses itself. Mm -hmm. So what is the, the itself? Consciousness. All right. So are you saying that consciousness is an object that no. can be seen? No. no. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm Could... not sure what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> no, it's very good. Don't don't lose confidence. Don't waver. So I'm just wanting to get clear with you what you mean, right? So mm -hmm. when you say, "I am consciousness," and consciousness witnesses itself. Mm -hmm. So what does consciousness witness? Don't, don't go up into your head. So ask me again, what does consciousness witness? Mm. It's not, it's not, it's, it's witnessing consciousness. Okay, and what, I just want to get clear on what the consciousness is that consciousness is witnessing. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything is consciousness. Okay. Okay. Right. right now I'm with you. Sorry, I thought you knew that. <laughs> Duh. Thanks for reminding me, Carol. <laughs> Maybe Carol should be up here. <laughs> you want to swap? <laughs> all right, very good. We got that clear. But can you do you all appreciate why I was mm, wanting yeah, to get it yeah, clear? Yeah. Yeah. Because I wanted to get clear what you meant by that. The consciousness is witnessing itself, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So I wanted, what I wanted to get clear on was well, what is the itself? Mm -hmm. Is there some idea that consciousness is witnessing itself as an object? No. No. Okay. No. Okay, so consciousness is witnessing itself, which is which consciousness. Is yeah, I'm with you. Okay. Okay. Next. The next. <laughs> <laughs> so then so then I'm aware yeah. that witnessing consciousness. Well, is there a gap is there a separate you that's aware of witnessing consciousness? This isn't where I'm not sure, or is there just awareness? No, it is awareness oh. okay? Let's go really slow. Okay, no, no. now I've suddenly remembered. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the weekend retreat, you said that it's a, we cannot witness the fact that we're witnessing, yeah. so we're aware that we're witnessing. Did I say that? That bit, no. That's my thing. Okay. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> so who is the I then? Who are you? Well, I'm w awareness. Is that different from consciousness? No. Okay. Is that different from the witness? Yes. Okay. In what way? So you're saying you, whoever you are, is not the witness, and the witness is different from consciousness. No. Okay. I'm saying there's a subtle difference between witnessing and being aware. 
that's been my understanding. Okay. So what, what's your understanding of the subtle difference? Well, when one witnesses, it's just... It's like you said, when you, you see a car, when you see an accident, for example, yeah, and you are just witnessing it. Yeah, I gave the, so I gave the, the example, example. I gave the example on the retreat. I was really pointing to this word witness, why it's the perfect word. You know, so like if you're a witness of a crime or an accident and then you go to court because you're a witness, right? You, there was no choice involved. There was no intent involved. You, you were not there observing the crime. You were just a witness to it. Did you see the point? Mm -hmm. That's why it's you're a witness. Because you just happened to be a point of consciousness that was there and saw what happened. Mm -hmm. But there was no volition involved in that. Do you understand what I mean by volition? There was no choice. There was no will. There was no nothing. You were just there, whoever you were. Okay. <clears throat> so we're aware that we witness consciousness. Okay, so, that... so slow down. Now say I instead of we. I mm. am aware that I witness consciousness. So that's three steps. That's I mm -hmm. am aware. What was the next one? That I witness. That I witness, that I witness consciousness. consciousness. So that's actually four steps. Four steps. So I am aware. Mm -hmm. Okay. That I, mm -hmm. referring back again to whoever this I is, mm -hmm. am witnessing. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to illustrate this with my finger, right? So I mm -hmm. am aware. Let's say like that, right? I am aware. Mm -hmm. yeah? That I mm -hmm. am witnessing. Mm -hmm. So who's this? If you cut out all of the the apparent connections or steps yeah. that you, it it just leads back to here, doesn't it? Yeah. So I am aware. Yeah. That I. Yeah. Am witnessing. Yeah. So is it? So I just illustrated it with my hand. So it's I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. am aware mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I am witnessing. witnessing. Or is it I am aware that I, is, who's somewhere different than here, am witnessing? Do you see what I'm illustrating mm -hmm. here? Yeah. Yeah. Now, is there a difference between I am aware, mm -hmm. and let's take the that mm -hmm. word out. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference between I am aware, mm -hmm. I am witnessing? Are they two different things? No. Okay. And I think this so, is... So can you see that you're complicating something that's radically simple? Right. And, you, and in that process, you see, you're actually moving into your mind mm -hmm. and conceptualising. Mm. You're creating a kind of step-by-step -step process there that doesn't actually exist in reality. Because if you stay with your own direct experience, pre-thought, right. pre-any conceptualization, I am aware. Equals, mm -hmm. I am witnessing. Yeah. Equals, I am. Equals, I. Right. And then we could even go further and there's mm. just... Indefinable. Mm. See? Mm -hmm. And that actually answers the question because I found myself just going round and round in circles and not actually making <coughs> sense on one hand, but not making sense. Mm. And can you see why that why that is? What what is the the motive that's causing you to go round in circles? Wanting to understand. With what? Of who I am. Wanting to understand with what? With the with, mind. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. Because this direct radical understanding, right? Mm -hmm. So by radical means at the root. That's what the word means, at the root. 
So mm-hmm. radical understanding, direct understanding, is prior to mind. It's immediate. I am. Consciousness is. You see? And and then the the separate apparently separate I, the whirlpool, is is dissolved, is disappeared. Where is it? It only apparently appears again when we go into the mind. Oh, because so now I am consciousness and I am witnessing that I am consciousness, that I am witnessing. So I, separate Carol, is somehow still in here getting enlightened. Do you see? I'm just making fun of it. But do you see? Do you you all appreciate this is... Because the ego wants to come along for its own funeral. <laughs> Do you see? The e, the e, cuz if you just stay with the direct mm. it's actually completely obvious. It's so obvious. So utter it's the most obvious fact of our existence. But we miss it because we overlook this obvious fact because we're so identified with a personalized I in here. And so then it's like consciousness, where is it? It becomes a kind of mystery. But when you, when you really, when you awaken, it's like, oh my God. It's always already the case. Always has been, always will be. And then there's the relief and perhaps the explosion of love, which we'll get to. You see? Because that Carol in there who who's wants to somehow understand it for herself mm. and somehow therefore get a handle on this and know how to relate it, this thing called consciousness, to my life, etc., etc., etc. You see? Because if you stay with the radical understanding, that that's gone. You can't. And this is what surrender means, you see. You're nobody. You're nobody. You're still here. You're still here, right? Whatever you are, whatever I am, and there's apparently a body here, and there's a dialogue going on. But is there a separate somebody in here that's different from you? What, the apparently <coughs> separate somebody in, in there? No. Is there any difference between us? No. Can we find it? No. And even if we would say yes, well, we'd, we'd be like... Well, where does it begin and where does it end? The separation. Mm. You see, it can't be found. In, it can't be found in this direct, intuitive knowing of the heart. This is what... It's not the heart equals feeling over mind. You know, it's the, it's the spiritual heart. And in that, this is, this is inherently known. And, and, and then we're... Um, we you know we're happy you're happy aren't you i'm very happy <laughs> well there you go you don't and you're happy because you don't know who you are doesn't that make you happy yeah. it makes me happy mm-hmm. and yet at the same time you could say you know who you are you know there's a doubtlessness but it's more, it's more, it's more, you could say it's more what you're doubtless about is what you are not. Right? And then at the same time, there's a doubtless, doubtlessness about this ultimate reality called consciousness. But it's not something you can have or grasp or like say, I've got it now or, or even I understand it. Mm-hmm. Do you see? Mm. So, <clears throat> this is not to um, to say that the mind doesn't have a role in all of this. And as I said uh, in the introduction, this is the importance of the study holons also, because the mind is a tool. It's a discriminative tool. And if you don't understand, like if you don't all don't have a clear understanding of what's just occurring in this dialogue... You might have a direct recognition of this 
reality that we all are, that we're calling consciousness, but it won't stick. Do you see? So there's there's a place to actually understand, you know, and use the mind to to discriminate. But then, but then the mind in this kind of inquiry, it's like a ladder. You know, you're going up the ladder, and then you get to the top of the ladder, and you've just got to jump into infinity. And then you then you discard the ladder. Do you you're with me mm-hmm. with the metaphor? Yeah. And and you're happy because you don't know who you are. And you don't understand. I don't understand this either. I wrote a whole book about it, but I still don't understand it. (laughs)